हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ योर पीडियन इंजीनियर करियर पॉइंट सो एम विनीत शर्मा योर मेंटर ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो बेसिकली टुडे आई एम हेयर टू गिव यू सम इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द आई एस आर एग्जाम ओके एज यू नो द इसरो हैज अनाउंस द वैकेंसी फॉर द साइंटिस्ट पोस्ट हेयर फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियरिंग डिसिप्लिन एंड द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज हैज बिन आउट देयर ओके सो फॉर द मैकेनिकल एज वेल सो दे आर हंड्रेड प्लस वैकेंसीज आर देयर ओके सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू द इनफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू दिस रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम एंड आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू द इनफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर एनालिसिस ओके ऑफ द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विच वॉज हेल्ड इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू दैट हाउ द अप्रोच इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम हेयर एज कम्पेयर टू द बी ई एल एच पी सी एल ऑल ऑल दी आपके ऑल द एग्जाम विच हैज बिन गॉन राइट नाउ ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट लेट मी प्रोवाइड यू दिस सम इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द प्रीवियस ईयर पैटर्न ओके सो नाउ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑनवर्ड इसरो हैज चेंज द कम्प्लीट पेपर पैटर्न हेयर एंड नाउ दे आर टोटल ऑफ नाइन्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन ओके विच इज बींग आस्ड इन द इसरो एग्जाम सो देर आर टोटल नाइन्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन okay out of these 95 questions the 15 questions are of the aptitude are of the aptitude okay and along with that you can see the remaining 80 questions are from the technical portion here okay so this uh, 80 questions are from the technical portion now uh, including this the negative marking has been announced there in the technical section of the paper whereas there is no uh, there is no negative marking in the non technical portion so i can directly say uh, Out of this 50 question, there will be zero negative marking, and in the 80 questions of technical, there are there will be a negative marking of one third. Okay, and also just remember that uh, these 80 questions are of each one mark each here. So I can say the total number of marks are going to be 80 here, and these 15 questions are having the total marks of 20 here. Okay. so now if you just see in this uh, 15 questions the aptitude is little bit different from the other exams here okay the bharat sir will uh, will provide you the, provide you the detailed analysis of the aptitude section that which topic are important for you uh, today i am here to provide you the the analysis of this particular technical section here okay so if you just see that i have just categorized the all of the subjects okay of the isro exam so now if you just uh, see the graph very carefully uh, the if you just see the table very carefully you can see a large number of question has been asked from this particular subject that is strength of material okay generally the mechanics portion is very favorite of the is a favorite portion of the isro here okay and the large number of question has been normally asked in all the previous year exam from the strength of material as well as the theory of machine okay so you can see here so whenever you are preparing for this particular exam you have to focus specifically on the mechanics portion here okay including the applied mechanics including the theory of machine vibration strength of material machine design these subjects are going to be very very important for you okay as well as a uh, less number of questions has been asked from the thermal portion but it is not like that you have to skip that part here okay because uh, even though the numbers are less but there may be chance that they can be asked uh, they can ask you question from this particular topics here along with that we have a uh, different topic as, as well as industrial engineering in the industrial engineering section we have a uh, total number of 3 questions and the questions are easy okay it is not so much difficult okay generally the questions are framed from the inventory break even point as, as well as the linear programming section here okay but if you see in the case of strength of material and the theory of machine a large number of numericals has been asked there okay just remember that in the isro exam the isro exam you don't have uh, the, the, it is not like that they are going to give you some uh, they are going to ask you only the theoretical portions okay in this particular exam here large number of numerical questions are there okay and the large number of theoretical portions are there okay so i can say 60% of the 60 to 70% of the paper is comprising of the numerical portions and the numerical questions are not so much difficult the level of the numerical questions are moderate here but the corresponding 30 to 40% is the theory here okay so whenever you are preparing for this particular exam you have to make ensure that you prepare the numerical portion as well okay you can't skip that portion because it is going to be a greater significant role for this particular exam here now if you just see they have also touch a one new subject that is robotics okay even though only one question is asked but there may be chance they can uh, increase the number of questions from this particular section also okay so just have some basic idea just see the theoretical concepts of the robotics portion as well okay but just ma uh, mainly you have to do the, uh, you have to primarily focus on this particular five subjects here 
okay the strength of material theory of machine machine design and the engine mechanics here this section is going to be very very important for you along with that in the fluid mechanics some numerical question has been asked from the pressure measurements here okay along with that the fluid dynamic portion here so that uh, also you have to focus, focus on okay and a very less number of questions has been asked from this particular section that is heat transfer rac ic engine as well as the material science here okay so this is the division of the number of questions which is has been asked from the different different sections here along with that the total number of questions which is being asked is the 80 okay which is having the marks total marks of 80 here along with that we have a negative marking of one third here in the aptitude section you don't have any negative marking there is zero negative marking in the aptitude section okay so now you can see uh, actually we are uh, launching the module on the 5th of january here from the day after tomorrow we are going to start the module and in this case we are going to covering each and every topics here along with that we are going to uh, do the numerical analysis as well as well as we are going to cover up the theoretical portions also okay so this is the uh, the division of the subjects as well as the number of questions now you have to remember that if you are just preparing for if you have just uh, prepared for the BEL exam okay or if you have given the exam of the BDL also uh, and you are also preparing for the HPCL right now you have to uh, primarily focus on the different approach here because in this case the exam ex yeah, the exam in the exam they, it is not like that you have to prepare only the theoretical portion so make ensure that you include your numerical study also okay you just practice the numerical as much as possible okay because that will that is the only thing which create a difference in this particular exam here understood so this is the information which i uh, want to share it with you okay so just save this uh, section here this is very very important for you and just start preparing for your this particular exam this is a very nice opportunity and the age limit of this particular exam is from 80 to 30 years okay so large number of candidates are eligible for this particular post here okay so this is the information. So thank you very much.